What's going on YouTube? It's Maddie with Fusaro Fitness and we're gonna make a bomb ass burrito today. I could tell by all the Instagram posts, Twitter, Facebook, all that, that most people are a big fan of Chipotle. I personally love Chipotle, but we don't have one very close to where I live. There is a Moe's Southwest Grill, but it just doesn't compare. And I don't feel like leaving the house right now. So what I'm gonna do is make a burrito at home, take you through the steps on how I make it. It's very easy. I'm going to be using some leftover ground beef. I'll give you all the macros and everything. So let's get started showing you the ingredients and cooking. All right, all right, let's get started. We're gonna start off with a flour tortilla. Yes, flour, not whole wheat. We have some black beans, some salsa, whatever you would like, fat-free sour cream, some leftover lean ground beef, that's 93.7, scallions, fat-free shredded cheddar cheese, and a side of asparagus, because you need them greens. Just for the convenience and to save some time in this video, what I did was portion everything out and weigh it on the scale beforehand, so you didn't have to watch me do that. Let's get cooking! Alright, so we're gonna get started by putting the stove to around the medium heat, spraying the pan down with some fat free non stick cooking spray, and placing the asparagus down when the pan heats up. You wanna just keep an eye on the asparagus just to make sure they don't burn. So you can flip them every so often. The total time for them to cook will be around 10 minutes, but again, it depends on how high of a flame you use. Oh yeah. So what I personally like to do is spray them down with some I can't believe it's not butter spray while they're cooking and then season them up with some fresh ground black pepper and some sea salt. You don't need to get any fancy Himalayan shit. It's just what I chose to use but any kind of spices and seasonings you can add now while they're still cooking and almost finished. All right, next up we're gonna add the black beans and the ground beef to the pan on a low heat. It's already cooked, this is leftover, so we're just trying to heat it up so it's warm inside the burrito. Here's a little tip to make sure the burrito doesn't rip when you're wrapping it up. You can heat it up in the pan for 10 to 15 seconds or even toss it in the microwave. Just make sure you don't burn yourself. Now we're gonna just place all the ingredients inside the burrito wrap and you can add any additional sauces or spices that you want. I'm using a chipotle sauce, a chipotle salsa, some fat-free sour cream, and then just topping it off with the fat-free shredded cheddar cheese that I showed you earlier in the video. And that's about it. Again, feel free to add whatever you like to it. And then comes the hard part. All right, so I've gotten a lot better at rolling up burritos. I will say that using a white flour tortilla does work a lot better than using a whole wheat or a whole grain tortilla. And it doesn't rip as easily. And that's pretty much it. You got yourself a bomb ass burrito. All right, so that's pretty much the recipe. Like I said, it was extremely simple. The best part about burritos is that you can add whatever you want or take away whatever you want. So you can make a burrito that's 200 calories, or you can make one that's 2,000 calories. Adding guacamole, which I love, but I'm saving some fats for later on today. You can add rice into it. You can add more black beans. You could do chicken, you could do beef, you could do steak. Anything you could think of, you could put into a wrap and add or take away whatever you want. Uh, the macros for this, I kept it, you know, fairly low. I didn't want to go too crazy with it, but we're looking at around 600 calories. And with that is 15 grams of fat, around 62 grams of carbs, and around 55 grams of protein. I'll throw that in the description box below, as well as on the screen for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like the video, show your support. I appreciate it as always. If you want more cooking videos, you know, I have fun doing this. My food's getting cold though, so I'm gonna go eat the food. Again, thank you very much, I appreciate it, and until next time, I'll catch you in the next video.